So today we will be discussing that what are pediatric liver diseases and what a parent must know about it. So first of all, whenever we are talking about liver diseases in children, there are two types of liver diseases. First is acute liver disease, like normally what we call acute viral hepatitis or something like that. That means the disease is short lasting. It has started suddenly and usually course is not very prolonged. And the second are chronic liver diseases. That means some disease which was underlying there in the body and slowly it is going on for a longer time. So whenever as a parent our child is diagnosed with liver disease like first symptom most of the time is jaundice like you see jaundice you go to a doctor and uh, they may say that okay the child is suffering with some kind of liver disease so two things we need to know first that is it acute viral hepatitis or acute liver disease or it is a chronic liver disease because both have totally different treatment different future implications second uh, once we diagnose it clearly how can we treat the child so first i will tell you about the acute liver disease diseases. So this is very common because of infections, allergies and many of the times because of the drug overdose or uh, drug associated liver injury. So in this season like in rainy season or monsoons we see uh, children with the jaundice. Most of the time these are due to acute viral hepatitis. Mostly hepatitis A and hepatitis E virus, sometimes hepatitis B virus and many of the times there are so many other viruses which can also lead to jaundice like even dengue can cause jaundice in a child. These are all the causes of viral hepatitis. So most of the time viral hepatitis improves by itself. I will say more than 90 to 95 percent kids should get better with some conservative management. But if your child is having jaundice which is started suddenly, maybe there was fever before that, vomiting before that, what we typically call prodrome. That is it starts with some kind of fever, then vomiting and not eating food and then later child develops jaundice. These are the typical symptoms of acute viral hepatitis. Whenever your child is having jaundice, you have to follow up with a specialist or a pediatrician to be under their follow-up. As I said, most of them improve, but we should not take any chance that, okay, it will get better, we can ignore it. No, not at all. Because as I said, a small percentage can worsen over time. So we don't need to be scared, but we need to be in follow-up of a right person. Acute uh, liver diseases is the other important thing is drug induced liver injury. What I normally tell to all my patients, please do not take any medicine where you don't know what is there inside. Like uh, many of the alternative medicines or indigenous medications, we do not know what exactly we are giving to our kid. So at least you should have minimum information that what is going inside the body so that you can have an idea can it affect the liver or not. There are so many other allopathic medications also which can cause liver injury. So if your child is on any such kind of medicine, then I will say you just have some uh, homework or you ask your doctor, can it cause liver injury or not? If it can cause, then accordingly we have to take care. So these are the two, three main causes of acute liver injury. Now what happens? There are so many kids who are suffering with a jaundice for a very long time, maybe months altogether. There can be other symptoms when there is even no jaundice. Just abdomen is distended too much. If you touch the tummy, you find that, okay, something hard I can feel inside the tummy. Sometimes we feel the abdomen is very tense and shiny, maybe some fluid inside the tummy. Sometimes children behave very abnormally. You feel that he has, is becoming progressively dull or you can see some visible veins over the body. These are the signs or symptoms of chronic liver disease or when I will say acute disease has started you are following it with the doctor but it is not subsiding beyond four or eight weeks then we have to start thinking about is it chronic liver disease so whenever there is a chronic liver disease the etiologies that we think is some viruses like hepatitis B hepatitis C then the other possibilities which we think of in children specifically genetic causes metabolic causes or sometimes immune related causes all these chronic liver diseases has to be worked up properly before starting any treatment. Some treatment has to be started, yes, for supplementing the liver so that multivitamins and sometimes some medicines we give to decrease the, increase the bilirubin excretion from the body or bile excretion from the body that may help feeling the child better. But curative treatment has to be started only after making the primary diagnosis that what is the main cause of the liver disease because that will decide the prognosis. That means 
how the child is going to fare in the future and second thing will medicines will be able to cure him or not most of the times we find that childhood liver diseases even if liver is badly damaged they respond very well to medications but many of the times what we see that beyond the point medicines don't work or liver keeps on getting worse that happens even in sometimes acute liver diseases also then child may require liver transplant so that is the last stage i will say so another thing is about diet always you should follow your doctor's prescription regarding the diet but don't stop too many foods i will say what as a parent we get scared that don't give this don't give that and what happens is we if we stop so many foods and we are only giving boiled food children don't want to eat and because of that part they start losing weight and we incriminate that liver disease is causing all this so always discuss with your doctor the diet and accordingly you follow